Well, I'm from Los Angeles, and so you would think that's a large city and has so much to offer, and I think Tulsa is just killing it. Hundreds of thousands of visitors have enjoyed the gathering place since its opening in the fall, but some question when phase two, the Children's Discovery Lab, will be built next to the award-winning park. Two works for you is Laurie and Callender's outside gathering place with an update on the progress in a story you'll see only on two. Back in the fall, there was an anticipated groundbreaking for the Children's Museum Discovery Lab in either March or April. But you can see there's still an empty lot where phase two of the gathering place is supposed to go. It's no secret that families and children love the gathering place. There's something different. There's no way you can cover the whole park and enjoy everything in one sitting. The 2018 winner of USA Today's best new attraction in the country. Parents tell us there's something for everyone to enjoy. We actually love the seats on the I think it's called Peggy's Pond because um, my son loves to take rocks and throw them in and I get to sit and relax and it's really nice. Gathering Place opened back in September, which was just the beginning. These renderings from KKT Architects show what phase two of the park looks like, described as a hands-on learning facility designed to ignite the curiosity of children. We're so excited. I'm all about him exploring and learning through building and touching like the sensory garden there. So I think it's going to be an extension of that. I think it's going to be amazing. Officials were supposed to break ground on the Discovery Lab in March or April, but has been pushed back. While there's no concrete date in a statement from Discovery Lab, the director of organizational development says they look forward to breaking ground on their new home in 2019. It's in an area where it welcomes all people, all sides of town to come. It's awesome. The 50,000 square foot facility will have an outdoor amphitheater, a green rooftop terrace, and the second floor filled with classrooms that will house the Tulsa Public Schools STEM Center. We'll keep you updated on construction. In Midtown, Loring Calendar, two works for you.